start bringing out their magazine at the famous Canadian beer ride. We get to run, and then we drink beer. Let's go. Celebrating a hard run with a cold beer is a popular idea exercised by runners around the globe. So why not embrace it and make it part of the event? You may have heard about the beer mile, where runners drink one full beer before running each of their four laps around a track. It's an event that has gotten more and more popular in recent years. That is not what this race was. All the beer today was at the end of a five kilometer run. Set at Ontario Place in Toronto, well over 1,000 runners turned out for the race and subsequent craft beer and food festival. As part of the registration, each person received four beer tokens to use after the race. Additional tokens could be purchased. Friends and family could purchase a festival entry, and kids under 19 could join adult registrants for free, but of course were not permitted to drink. The race started in several waves to spread the large number of runners across the winding course throughout Ontario Place grounds. After the first kilometer, the course took advantage of the scenic waterfront setting. It also went through an American beer station. Is that beer? Is that beer? Not yet. American beer. American beer. That's definitely not beer. And passed an energetic band. I also liked how it brought together runners from all different parts of the race, contributing to the festival vibe of the day. Many people really embraced the day and chose to forego running gear for something more appropriate. So I see you got uh, dressed up for the run here. I did. It's good beer drinking gear, but not good running gear. Not at all, not at all. I'm ashamed of myself today walking, but I think it's uh, for a good cause, so. I'll beer is always a good cause. Always a good cause. Especially always. if it's for you. Exactly, I'll, I'll earn it. I'll all right, buddy, it. have a good one. All right, with the running all done, now it's time to partake in the festival. Once across the finish line, all runners were given their official plastic beer mug, which was the key to enjoying the rest of the day. You could have chosen for a traditional post-race fare that was made available, but a quick right turn at the finish line got you in line for the beer, and other alcoholic drinks poured right into your own mug. It was a perfect day to hang out, enjoy the free ice cream sandwiches, the music, and sample all the different drinks and food available. The one blemish on the day was the very long lineup at the registration race kit pickup tent. It was frustrating for anyone that didn't show up extremely early, and as a result, the wave starts were pushed back to 10 minutes. I was encouraged, however, that organizers acknowledged the issue that same day via email, where they apologized and asked for participant feedback. I thought that was a classy way to handle the issue, and based on the professional nature of everything else about this race, I would expect to see big improvements next time. I'm Craig for Get Out There Magazine, and I'm already thirsty for next year. Maybe I'll see you there. So are you carrying around everyone's post-race beer? <laughs> Absolutely. Head over to the Great Lake tent. Well, I admire you for doing all this work. Oh, cheers. I'll Thank be sure you. to have one. Have a great race.